That's Kyra out there, just setting out there like she does out in front of my house. Hasn't said anything to me, nothing. That's my life right there. That's my life. <laughs> You're not welcome here. Do not come back and sit here. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Don't set your little stuck up ass in front of my house, in front of my house, and taunt me when you know you're fucking wrong. You guys see, this is your, your guys' Christian influencer. This is your big Christian influencer. This is your big Christian influencer. This is your Sephora girl. This is your guys' just amazing girl right here. This is your sweet, sweet, sweet Kyra. You see behind, yeah, you see her sweet yeah. Kyra. But I'm not quite there yet. Um, I'm not as irritated, I think. I don't know. I'm going to say something. We'll see how irritated I get after I say this. Because I think a lot of you guys kind of have it fucked up. And by fucked up. I mean that everyone keeps saying that what you're doing isn't going to fix this. Oh, what you're doing, Karen, you aren't going to fix it this way. Oh, that's not going to fix it. That's not what Kyra and Caitlin want you to do. And whatever GPS routed you guys that way have you all fucked up. Y'all got me all fucked up on the wrong path. No, no, no. I'm not looking to fix shit. I don't want to fix anything. They showed me who they were. I was looking to fix things before the live. I would have probably talked about things then. Maybe. I don't know. That, that letter was really ugly. But um, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm not looking to fix a motherfucking thing. At this point, I would eventually hope that one day me and Kyra could work through everything and we could have a relationship. But am I looking to have a relationship with her and Caitlin? No. Um, I know that. Do I want to have a relationship or fix anything with Kaylin? Never. Never. Um, that's the wash. That's done. And I'm okay with all that. Because my journey started long before this Kaylin and Kyra bullshit. Um, this is something I've been going through for years. And if you keep following instead of judging, you'll learn that. But um, yeah, this is for me. This journey has been for me. This journey was my self-love journey. This this is my healing journey. This this is for Karen. And Kaylin and Kyra just happened to come in at the end of that and do what they did. Yeah, just because they did what they did to me, that doesn't mean that I go off my journey and then I'm not true to myself. And I just say, okay, yeah, yeah you guys could say that about me. And I'm sorry um, for whatever I did. No, that's not how self-love works. You don't bow down and take shit like that. Like, everyone is still debating this whole thing and who's telling the truth. Like, it's not even a whole truth thing. It's the facts. <clears throat> you guys know. I gave Carter Tylenol why they were in Israel without asking first. We never discussed. We never discussed Tylenol. We discussed teething tablets and Oragel. I didn't even think about Tylenol. I honestly didn't. It was days later. Like I said, nighttime, I ran and grabbed the Tylenol. I didn't even think about asking. I didn't think about asking because I wasn't thinking, I guess, if that's the way you want to say it. Like, I just reacted. I just had a crying four-month-old and um, hurting fever. So I left him home with Kobe and Kimora, and I ran to Rite Aid real quick. And I got him Tylenol. I swear to God, I never knew I was doing something wrong. And I didn't even get to talk to them about that. I never got to talk to anybody. No one ever came and talked to me. They just wrote the letter. And um, here we are. And so I don't understand how they were hugging. It's really hard for me to wrap my head around how they were <clears throat> in my house at 3 a.m. And I drove them to the airport. We all hugged goodbye, all of us. Um, all I did was give him Tylenol.
that's it. So before you fix your fingers too tight, again, do I want to fix this? Fuck no, because I didn't do anything wrong. And um, I hope one day that me and Kyra can have a relationship. But, but no, at this point, there's no fixing anything. Hopefully me and Kyra can. I, it's just a lot of hurt. And um, today, today I, she wouldn't look me in the face. And I looked at her and I told her, you're lying. And she wouldn't look when Clea went to get in, I opened her door and I told her, you're going to talk to me. Like I'm your mother. You're going to fucking talk to me. Like this is, this is fucked up. And Kaylin the whole time coaching her and she won't even look at me. And then Kaylin's all pumped up being himself in the background, how he gets all hyped up. And then Robert starts pulling up. So then Kyra, you know, she thinks she's Barney about us. And, and, um, yeah, I tried to grab her by her face to turn her, make her look at me, look me in the eye. And of and of course, she can't look at me. She can't talk to me. She can't look at me. Because she's lying. There's nothing wrong with me. They know that. They know that I would never endanger Carter. So things are way different after today. I, I got to see Kyra in the flesh. How she thinks of me for whatever reason. And... um see this is so painful I'm having a moment because it just happened today that's why I don't like talking about shit right when it happens but um not that there's anything wrong with showing emotion it just I hate when I get like so worked up it's not good on my because then I get all sick feeling and then I can't eat and then I start losing weight and it's just a fucking cycle so um but yeah that was pretty painful I've been through so much in my life and what Kyra has done to me is right up there that that's so healing I'm telling you guys venting and getting it off your chest and saying what you need to say and being fucking truthful like just tell the fucking truth like it feels amazing so good